Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven. I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And we're going to continue our in-depth look into the forces of the orcs in Battlefleet Gothic in the Armada Handbook. And like we mentioned with the special rules at the end of the Rocks video last time, they di they were introduced with more or least specific um, special specialty battleships, which you could only have one of each of them in your army. And we're going to talk about first the Death Dealer Orc battleship. The Death Dealer was a battleship with 12 hit points, speed 20 centimeters, turns 45 degrees, shields 2, armor 5 on the side, 6, six front armor, and turrets 3. It was armed with a POW guns battery at range 45 centimeters, firing, firepower D6 plus 6 front arc, a POW bombardment cannon, which is basically a, more, a very powerful weapon battery which what it did was it always wounded on a 4 plus regardless of armor including ordnance um, attacks and it always ca caused a critical on a 4 plus on any ship that it was attacking and it had a 6 and other than that it acted like a normal weapon battery it had a s range 30 centimeters strength 6 front arc it had a launch base with D3 plus 1 um, strength vehicles of fighter bombers and assault boats. Fighter bombers 25 centimeters, assault boats 30 centimeters. Um, port guns battery, th range 30 centimeters, D6 4, um, D6 plus 4 on its left arc, as well with um, a heavy guns cannon, 15 centimeters, strength 6 on its left side, and also had the same profile on its right side. Guns, weapon gun, we guns battery, 30 centimeters, D6 plus 4. And heavy guns, battery, 15 centimeters, strength 6. And notes was it may be equipped with torpedo bombers for 30 points. What torpedo bombers are is they're special bombers that we're going to, we'll talk about those later. And basically the most part is, is they're a bomber squadron that can turn into a strength 2 servo of torpedoes. And if there's a wave of them, they can all turn into a giant servo of torpedoes. And they have special point costs. And orc um, torpedo gun guns, unlike regular torpedo bombers, can't per, can't um, count as intercepting vehicles like fighter like bombers can, like regular bombers, as they do for other vehicles. Um, the orcs they just don't get that because their their particular torpedo bombers are too heavy to do such a thing. And the when the leadership value is generated, the um, for the orc fleet, the death dealer can opt to swap the leadership rating with a kill cruiser or terror ship to represent the warlord stealing the best crewmen from each ship. And on the all ahead full roll, um, it may roll 4d6 when making the all ahead special order because it had a souped up special um, engine on it, uh, negating the 2d6 normal rule for regular orc vessels. The next ship is the Gorbag's Revenge battle crew, battleship. This had the basically the same stats as the um, the Death Dealer. The only ex difference is actually nothing. No, sorry, I just misread that. And its weapon systems were POW guns battery um, with um, range 45 centimeters, D6 plus 6 with a firing arc of the front, POW torpedoes, 30 centimeters, D6 plus 2, front arc, the a dorsal launch bay with fighter bombers and assault boats, D3 plus 1, um, a port um, guns battery, 30 centimeters, um, strength D6 plus 2, left firing arc, and a heavy guns battery, 15 centimeters, strength 6 on its left arc as well. It also had guns battery of 30 centimeters, D6 plus 2 on its right, and a heavy guns battery of 15 centimeters, strength 6 on its right as well. It also had a port and starboard launch bays with two squadrons each, with um, fighter bombers and assault boats. Um, it may be equipped with boarding torpedoes for five points, um, speed 20 centimeters, D6 plus 2 squadrons, and... Oh, I'm sorry, boarding torpedoes, forgive me, or boarding to or torpedo bombers at 30 points. And due to its poorly distributed mass, it may not use the come to new heading special rule. And this can also swap the leadership value with um, uh, with other kill with kill cruisers or terror ships if it wishes to. Now, between the two ships, I think that 
it's again, it's more specialty. I probably would take um, Gorbag's Revenge over the um, Death Dealer because it's got a little bit more ordnance control, and I feel like I'd want my orcs to have some sort of or um, um, ordnance defenses because they have very little of it, and it's just a really nice ship because of that. Like the orc battleship is a sense to me just another um kill cruiser or terror ship with um with some extra firepower behind it and so between the two of those vessels i'd probably go with the gorba's revenge because i think you get a little bit more bang for your buck with that one it is more expensive than the, than the death dealer but i think it's worth its point value a lot more than the death dealer itself but then again it all depends on what kind of form of player um army play you're going to go with but if you want a little bit more ordnance control you'd probably want to go with the Gorbag's revenge over the death dealer the next ship was the slam blasta orc battleship this had the same stats as the other two with the exception that it only had uh, let's see two shields rather than three no i'm sorry they both had um two shields forgive me it has the same stats stat line except now with when it comes to weaponry it had in its front arc um, a wet, a guns battery with forty a, with a four forty five centimeter range D six plus six, and lances at forty five range and two um, strength, which is really nice to have a ship with lances, dorsal launch bays, fighter bombers, and assault boats D three plus one. On its left side, it had a guns bat it has guns batteries thirty centimeters D six plus six. And heavy guns, 15 centimeters, strength 6. And on its right side, it has gun batteries, 30 centimeters, D6 plus 6. And heavy guns, 15 centimeters, D6 plus 6 on its right as well. And also notes it could be upgraded with um, torpedo bombers for 30 points. And it can't use the come to a new heading special rule. And it may also swap out its leadership. So far from the list of battleships that we've gone over... This is not my favorite. It's not very well. It's got, you know, the only real thing that it's got is it does has lances, but your orc vessels, I don't really think need lances. I would rather have them have weapon batteries than I would rather. It basically took out the heavy weapon batteries on the pow of the ship and replaced it with a strength to lance. But at that point, I might as well, I'm, with the way that the orc forces are played, I'd kind of want the heavy heavy batteries over there as well and in terms of launch bays it doesn't really have that decent ones like like for example the um gorbag's revenge has a total of um minimum four with the potential of getting more so it is it's a little bit more expensive than the death dealer but at that point you might as well go for the extra couple of points to get the gorbag's revenge or if you didn't want the Gorbag's Revenge, I'd probably take the Death Dealer over the um, Slam Blaster just because I don't think the Slam Blaster is really worth its point value. Um, because it was trying to give you a long-range battleship, but I just think that they could have done a lot better. You know, if they were going for that kind of route, you know, they might have well have given it more lances, but... You know, that's just me, Ben. Again, I know why they couldn't give it more lances, because, you know, really, orcs don't have that kind of stuff. But still, they were trying to make the ship unique, and I think they kind of fell short in actually making it a very unique vessel. And that is all the time I have for right now. So, until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.